Hi, hello, good morning. I mean, good morning, good evening. How are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? Pretty good. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Any news? Mm, just finishing to enjoy um, pupusas, some pupusas. Ah, okay, that's good. Don't say so, that, you know, uh, when, when, uh, Eddie, when Eddie gets into the group because uh, he, he gets <laughs> nostalgic. Yeah, when he, I know. When he hears about the pupusas. Okay. I finally got some place that, that, that delivers. So it was, uh, I have uh, some, a few days that I haven't, haven't uh, tried them. It, tried them or eaten pupusas. Or oh, eaten, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. The good thing is that you... You did today, right? And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, tell me, where, where have you studied English or where did you learn uh, English? Um, I have been studying through INSAFOR. I uh, was uh, last year, I was okay. able to assist to some classes at the, at the building, uh, okay. right uh, at, at the Escalon, right? Mm -hmm. It's located uh, close to the Torre Futura. Oh, okay. So I was, uh, uh, yeah, I was going to, to those classes uh, early in the morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But then my, my schedule was uh, moved from my work and, and I haven't been able to, to, to continue with the classes. Okay. But now that I have the, the, the chance to have it online, was the perfect time. To do it, right? And to what Correct. level did you, did you get uh, last year? Um, uh, intermediate module one. Okay, good. Uh -huh. oh, exactly the previous one to this one. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Okay, good. Then we have uh, Eduardo. How are you, Eduardo? I am fine. You? All right, good. Excellent. No, good. Waiting for Hello. the others to join in. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Okay, I there, right? Yes. Okay, good. And then we have Jonathan. How are you, Jonathan? Okay. And Liz is also here too. How are you, Liz? Hi, teacher. How's everything? Fine. Hello. Okay, good. And Veronica? How are you today, Veronica? Uh, a little busy. <laughs> ah, okay, hmm. good. That's nice. Not Work. Busy. Working. And sorry, keep it sorry teacher. So okay. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine. And you? All right. Great. Okay. Now, okay. just waiting for the others to join in the class and get started. Okay. We also have okay. Antonio. Antonio, you're here too, right? And it's probably getting ready. Okay, guys. Okay, so we have also Gio is here. Hi, teacher. Hi. We have George. George Lemus. Hello. Okay, hello, George. Okay, good. Nice. All right. Okay, so then let me, let's get it started then. Okay, so for today, yesterday we were watching the video about responding to requests, right? Yes. And okay, yes, this was the one. Here, just a little review of 
two minutes. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, good. Then this is for you to remember the, how to use these verbs and then there is a it says a knowledge check okay so work on this and on Thursday we're going to review it right we're going to check it if you already did it no problem but on Thursday we're going to do it together okay and then okay we, then we have uh, let me see okay so the next lesson objective, okay? So we have, uh, okay, let me see who's here. Okay. Hi hey, can you please read the, the lesson objective for tonight? Well, to one of those. Yes, can you read the objective please? In this class. I can read. Uh -huh. Okay. In this class, you will notice the streets parent in request with two part verbs. Okay. So here what we're going to see is the stress or intonation. Okay. Or the, let's say like the proper intonation that we should give when we use the, uh, the two part uh, verb in request, when we are requesting. Okay, now listen. Grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation Stress in two part verbs. Part A Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. 
Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Yes, go ahead and practice. Turn it off. Pick, pick the toys up. The light. Press. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Okay, if you see, uh, the intonation is the same um, in both parts of the of the pair, right? They pick up, pick up the toys, turn off the light. Pick the toys up. They pick the toys up. Okay. Turn the light off. Yes. They turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn. Pick them up. Turn it off. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay. Now, uh, Jorge Luis, for your yes. contact, can you please read the five verbs that you have there? Okay. Pick up our teams. Cut it off, drop me off, turn the radio up, and put the phone down. Put the phone down, okay? Pick up, your, pick up our things. See, for example, that, uh, for example, when you see pick up, uh, the consonant in the vowel, then you have a liaison, right? So it's uh, together, pick up. Pick up. You say pick our, you say pick up, pick up our, pick up our. Pick up our things, right? Cut it. Cut it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. The T is like a little R, right? Cut it out. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Turn turn the radio the radio up. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Put, Put the, the phone, phone down. Okay, good. Uh, down. Gio, okay. would you please? Yeah. Okay, read them. The five? Yeah. Five one. Okay. Pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Good. Kelvin. Yes, all right. We'll um, pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Very good. Okay. Just cut one it. question. Yes, I'm sir. sorry. What, what is the meaning of drop me off? Drop me off is when you take a person to the house, right? So you say, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I don't have a car today, and uh, my, uh -huh. my son dropped, uh, dropped me off. Okay, he gave me like a ride. Okay, he brought me home. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so if I ask, hey, can you drop me off? Is asking for a ride. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, okay. You, All right. Can you drop Thank me you. off by my house or by my office? Uh, okay. 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 Good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Uh, Veronica, read the verbs. Mm -hmm. Verb. Okay. Sentence. Expressions. Okay. Pick up our things. Put it out. Drop me off. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Okay, very good. Uh, Eduardo. Okay. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Draw Cut me it. up. Cut it up. Cut it out. Cut it out. Draw me up. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, the next one, Roberto. Yes, Roberto, right? Yeah, that's oh. right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Put the phone down, good. Now, Eric. All right, good evening. Good evening, sir. Pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Okay, good. Uh, Ceci Ben? Hello. Okay, would you please read the sentences? 
pick up our things, put it out, draw me out, don't be ready up, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Good. Carolina. Carolina, are you there? Okay. We and lose Carolina. Yes, we lost her. Antonio? Antonio Hernandez? Okay. He cut our things, cut it off, dropped me off, turned the radio up, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Okay, good. George, Lemus. Okay. He cut our things, cut it off, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Okay, good. Thank you. Diego? Of course. Pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn off the radio up, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Okay, good. Now, uh, Marcela. Hi. Okay. Pick me our things. Pick up. No, pick up our, pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Okay, very good. Now, Siomara. Okay, Simar is here. Hi. Hello. Pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Very good, thank you. Okay, Liz, would you? Okay, Liz, go ahead. Okay, pick up our things. Cut it out, drop it off, turn the radio. Okay, put the phone down, right? Yes, probably she's having some issues with it, with the with the sound. Okay, good. Then uh, this where the if you see that's the. Okay, uh, remember that what we have to try uh, to do here. First, uh, the pronunciation, and then uh, try to sound as natural as possible, right? That's what I told you, that when you see, for example, two words, then you can put them together, right? They say pick up, okay? Cut it. This case is different, drop me. Turn the, because this is consonant and consonant, and put the, right? Pick up our things. Then it's like one place, okay? Sometimes uh, it's not that, okay, sometimes it's not that uh, we say, no, I don't understand because they speak very fast. No, it's that when they speak, this they use a very natural way to speak, right? We do the same in Spanish, right? When we say, for example, uh, a ver. Okay, so we put the words together and we speak very fast. It's, and, and it's like in, when in English you say, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go is like we're in Spanish, right? Because the correct form in English is, I'm going to go, right? I'm going to go. I'm going to go, okay? But we say, they, in English we say gonna, okay? Which is informal. Also, in and in Spanish, yo voy a ir, okay? Yo voy a ir. Yo voy a ir. Uh -huh. But you say, voy a ver. Okay, and sometimes, and sometimes we, we, we do something more, uh, let's say, uh, more Salvadorian maybe, right? Like, pereme, pereme voy a ver, right? So then that is, uh, that is even more difficult for a person who doesn't speak Spanish to understand, right? It's not that we speak very fast, it's just that we omit some sound mm -hmm. and we use a very informal way. So in English it's the same, right? So that's why that's why we have to we have to learn to pronounce and understand, you know, this uh, uh, let's say how they join the sound when there is a consonant and a vowel. Okay? Good. Mm -hmm. Then uh, now I will uh, let me let me see, we have
Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Hi, Paul. I called you up yesterday, but I couldn't get through to you. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Sorry for not calling. I called you up. Okay. So you see here, for example, there is a conversation here in this uh, uh, in this video. It says, I called you up yesterday, right? So like, you know, I gave you a call, okay? But I couldn't get through. But I get through in this case is contact. Okay, I couldn't contact you, all right? Mm -hmm. So they say, I called you up yesterday, but I couldn't get through to you. Okay, you uh -huh. call you up, okay? So see, for example, how they use them very often, okay? And you will hear this a lot in movies. Yesterday, Question I couldn't get through to you. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Sorry for not calling you back. I've been very busy looking for a new job. Okay, so we have other two verbs here, right? Yes, I'm sorry for not calling you back, for not returning the call. You see that I am using, I am using other words like synonyms also, okay, for these two word verbs, right? Because there is more than one way to say things in English, okay? Also, Teacher. Yes, sir. Question, but uh, uh, um, for example, for me, it's totally new that I, I called you up, mm -hmm. so, but uh, that doesn't mean that we can use the same uh, verb uh, with the, um, what is the name of the other word? Uh, the, the particle down. I mean, there is no exist, I called you down or something like that, just called you up. No, in this case, it's call up, right? Because we're using okay. it in that expression, yes. Um, but it, the, it doesn't mean that if we use up, can be used down as well. No, not no, necessarily. No, no, not necessarily. Okay. Right? Okay. It's like, for All example, right. uh, suppose that if you say, I call, I couldn't call you back, it's not mm -hmm. that you're going to use the opposite called you forward. The, the front uh -huh, or forward. forward. Uh -huh. Okay. So then this is an expression that you okay. use it in that way, right? And okay. And, it, interesting. It, Thank and you. And sometimes it can be, uh, in some cases, uh, for example, like I told you yesterday, I guess it was get up, like it was a stand up. But when you say get down, it's the opposite, right? That you have to, okay, uh, probably you know to go near to the floor, right? Get down, mm -hmm. all right? But in this case, it's, it's, it's different, right? And, so, and when you use probably a different particle, then you also cha change the meaning of the, of the verb, right? Okay, for okay. example, I've, right. been, I've been very busy looking for a new job, okay? This is, for example, also like searching, right? Searching for a new mm -hmm. job. Really? But what happened? I quit my job last week. I didn't get on with my boss very well, and I ran out of patience. He used to have me do my projects over. I didn't get on with... Okay, I didn't get on, okay? Get on with my is when you don't have a good relationship with a person, right? For example, uh, I get on, I get on well with my brother, so that I have a good relation, right? But if I say I don't get on, I don't get on with my with my sister, that means I that you don't you don't have a good relationship, right? And when you say uh, I ran out of patience is the patient finished, okay, finished. Also, when you have a, a gas in your car, for example, sometimes you're driving and if you don't pay attention to the, to the tank, okay, and it says the fuel uh, needle is going down, okay, and then it says, uh, oh, oh, I ran out of gas, okay? okay. In this, out of gas. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, In this, I have yes. a question. Uh -huh. um, it, get get on with it's something similar similar like uh, I didn't get get along with. Um, it, it will be the same. I have to get along with somebody. Yes, you know, to have a good relationship with somebody. Okay. Yes, these are some synonyms. Okay. Now we watch a couple of. With my books very well, and I ran out of patience. He used to have me do my projects over many times. Okay, do over. 
okay, do over. Mm -hmm. It means repeat. It used to have me do my projects over. Uh, it used to have me do, do my over. projects over. Okay, mm -hmm. for example, if I ask you to write sentences in English using the using the two-part verb, and if they are not correct, okay, I will tell you, hey, look, uh, these sentences are not correct. You have to do it. You have to do them over. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to do the exercise over. You have to repeat it. Okay, mm -hmm. do over means to repeat something. Okay. Okay. I just couldn't put up with all the hard work. Put up with. Okay, put up with is something that when we cannot uh, like. Uh, Tolerate, okay, when, when the, when the activities or the situation is overwhelming our capacity, is exceeding our capacity, right? In that case, you say, I uh, say, I couldn't put up with all that hard work, okay? The hard work, all the work exceeded my capacity, okay? Put up with. That job was stressing me out. It was simply taking up all my time. Taking up, you know, like consuming, right? Consuming up. all my time. Okay? I had to drink lots of coffee to make it through the day. I used to work during the weekends, too. Okay, to make it through is, you know, to... To be able to finish, okay, to be able to finish the day. And I would stay up many nights to finish my projects. To stay up is what we usually say, desvelarse, right? You know, stay up it means it's not to sleep, okay? I would stay up many nights. I stay up. I stay up, right? And I would stay up many nights to finish my projects, okay? And hand them in on time. And hand them in on time is to present. Hand in to present them on time. Okay? It's like, you know, when the teacher, hand them. When the teacher uh, gives you a homework, okay? And I said, okay, you have to hand it in tomorrow morning. Okay? You have to give it to me here in my hands tomorrow morning. Okay, this is like turn in. I ended up feeling so exhausted every day. My boss used to check up on me all the time. When he saw me nodding off at work one day, he had a go at me, telling me off in front of everyone. Okay, so nodding me off is, you know, like when you are falling asleep, right? And you are... Uh, no, like we say, how, how do you say that in Spanish? What? When you are in front of the computer, but you are very tired and fall asleep, you are nodding off, like. Nodding off. Uh -huh. um, there is an expression that we use in Spanish. Like, mm. <laughs> yes. that, that's okay. right, right? That's nodding <laughs> off, okay. And they say, and then when the boss saw that, then he went to his uh, his desk and tell me off. Okay, tell off is when tell you go, uh, tell off is when you tell a person. Uh, uh, for example, hey uh, Johnny, you know what you're doing is wrong. You don't have to do this. You know you have to go to bed early because you're doing your, what your job is not. Uh, the, you're not doing your job the way you're supposed to do it. And then in front of everybody, right? Just telling you off. Okay, like, like calling his attention. Exactly, right? Getting his, mm. calling his attention, you know, in a, probably you know, in a proper way. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there. Luckily, I had some great colleagues that stood up for me. It okay, colleague that stood up for me is when somebody defends you, right? They support you, okay? Mm. They back you up, okay? Back you up, support. It's another one, back up. Uh, mm. it, was, it was so good to know that I could count on. It was so good to know. Okay, count on. 
count on is when you need somebody and you know that you can call that person and that person will help you whenever you need her. Is it proper to say come with them? I could always come with them as well? No, you have to say No, you have on. to be count on. Yes. Okay. Because you can count with me, count with me, one, two, three. Okay, count with me. Oh, one, okay. two, three. Okay, count. count with it's the me. action. Oh, you're right. Okay. okay. But in this case, you say, okay, but listen, guys, whenever you need uh, some information about English, you can count on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I have the information, I'll give it to you. If I know it, I explain. If I don't know, I'll point it out. Okay. But you can count. You have, it's a person that you know that can help you. Okay. Um, I know that I could always count on that. Anyway, I couldn't carry on like that. I felt like being a slave. Okay, I couldn't carry on. I couldn't continue with that, right? We used it yesterday, mm -hmm. remember? Okay, I felt like, I felt like uh, being a slave. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the sensation that he had. Okay, so I think that these are, you know, this video is like more than six minutes, 638. Mm -hmm. I will send you the link, you know, to the group, so that you can, so that you can easily find it in YouTube, and you can, you know, watch it slowly and probably copy, copy the expression, and, mm -hmm. and write them and try to use them, okay? Because they are very, if you see, they are in the situation and they are very useful, very specific, and easy to understand, right? So I yeah. think uh, uh, it's gonna be very, very helpful. Okay, all right, so then uh, let me see what else. Now we're going to, okay. The last one. This is the last one and then we're gonna do a little exercise. Okay, okay. title there. Okay. For example, this is another one. This is one I told you last night. Okay, uh, Ricardo, Ricardo, right, or Carlos? Carlos. Carlos, right, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Can you please read this sentence? Complete the sentences. Okay. Brian asked Judy. Out to dinner. To dinner, right? Okay. Brian asked Judy out to dinner. What does it mean? A synonym for ask out? He wants to take, a date. take her to a date. Uh huh. Another one? Invite? In invite, right? Okay. Invite. And if you see it in past tense, you can say invite. Them. Okay, very good. This is another one. This is one that I told you. Look at this one. Okay, Gio, can you read it? Yeah. Please. Mom counts on us to make our beds. Okay. So what does it mean? Yeah. We have to put the clothes on. The we made okay. that your mother that your mother is sure that when she comes to the house the bed will, will be made right mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. she counts on you she knows that you are responsible and what are hooks set at this huh and then you see what that there is hooks hooks <laughs> uh-huh yes it's more than a hope right in this case Okay, good. Now the next one, uh, Veronica. I asked around, but nobody has seen my wallet. Okay, so like, you know, have you seen my wallet? Have you seen my wallet? Then I asked everybody, right? So this is when you have been looking for it and asking everybody about it. Okay, Ronnie. How are you? Hi. Hi. What about you? 
Okay, great. Okay, would you please read that sentence? Okay. I called the company uh, back, but the office offices use were closed for the weekend. Okay. I called the company back, but the offices were closed for the weekend. Probably this person is has called many times, right? For two times to this company. Okay, uh, Kelvin? Yeah. Um, let's eat out. Sorry. Let's eat out. I don't feel like cooking tonight. Okay, remember we saw that uh, verb last night? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. like they're, uh, they're saying they should um, go to maybe a restaurant. Okay, so that's they, right. they don't want to eat the, like the same thing at, at, at home or something like that. Okay, yes. They don't want to do that or they don't want to cook? They don't want to cook, right? They don't that's want to an, cook. That's another one. Okay, mm -hmm. Jesse, you're here too. Hey, Jesenia, would you please read the next one? Hi. Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, when am I going to get uh, round to writing my thank you card? Okay, when am I going to get around to writing my thank you cards? What about this one? When, uh, when, the, when pick up the, the, the cars. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to get up. I don't know what is the get out. Get mm -hmm. around. Get uh -huh, like get, to get, get to get the answer, right? Uh -huh. Thank you, Charles. Okay, to get the answer. When they write the answer. Uh huh, exactly right. Okay. Good. To get the answer, that's the meaning. Uh huh, exactly right. Okay. I'm going to get the answer to writing my thank you card. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see, Eric. Read the, yeah, the next one, please. Okay, Eric. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. My girlfriend okay. dropped me off at work this morning. Okay, good. Okay, this is, you say this is the sentence, right? If you see, remember? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Kelvin, this is the question you were asking me, right? Okay, uh-huh, yeah. I'm going by car. Drop me off. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Perfect. Drop me off. George Mendoza, would you please? Yes. Read the next one. Okay. I be just got over the floor and now my I sister, just, my sister has it. Has it. I've just got over. Gover is like recover. Mm -hmm. Recover and now my sister has it. Okay. I have just got over the COVID-19. Okay, I just got over the COVID-19, and now I, somebody has it, <laughs> somebody has it. He passed it to her. Garover yeah. is like a sick, or Garover is like a... No, you recover. No, you... Now you are not sick. Garover, okay. what is? Garover is after, after 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 recovery. Sick. Uh huh. After you are sick, you are. After you're sick, you. You're not sick anymore. Uh huh. Yes. So you are in good health. This is when you are. Uh, okay. That's right. Okay. But for example, right now, uh, according to the statistics, there were like 88 people who have gotten over the COVID-19, right? Mm -hmm. so okay. It's better. The flu. Uh -huh. Exactly, right? They, they don't have the COVID anymore. The COVID me, me acabo de recuperar. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. That would be the one. Good. Okay, the next one, Roberto. Will you please read this one? It's a fancy dress party, so we have to dress up. Okay. It's a fancy dress party, okay? It's a, when it, you have a party, when, when there is a lot of uh, what? A glamour, right? 
and then you can say, okay, it's a fancy dress party, so you have to dress up. It's when you are wearing your best clothes. Okay, if you are a, if you are a woman, have your best garments, your best garments. Is the your clothes the situation, the occasion? Yes. Suppose if it is a wedding, you have to dress up, right? Smoking. If it's a graduation, graduation, you have to dress up. Okay. okay. If it is a very formal party or something, then you have to dress mm -hmm. up. Very well dressed up. You have the, the red carpet. <laughs> okay. Like in the red carpet. The famous. Huh? The famous. For the famous people. Please. No, only for famous, but for us too, right? Okay. Uh, let me see who else is here. I see now Carolina. Carolina, would you please read the next one? Carol, Carolina, okay. Oh, yes, there she is. Friend, hello? Yes, My go ahead. My husband and I broke up before I moved to America. Okay, good. So then, uh, probably Carolina in this case is in Europe. And then you say, My boyfriend and I broke up the relationship. No more boyfriend, uh -huh. no more girlfriend before I move to America. Good. Uh, let me see, Jorge Lemus. Read the okay. next one. My, my grandfather brought me, me up after my parents died. Okay, my grandparents brought me up. Okay, bring somebody up is to criar, right? Mm -hmm. hey, my grandparents Bro brought me up after my parents. Died. It's like race, oh, racing. Exactly. Or... Uh huh. Like racing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Brought me. Brought me up. Brought me up. For example, you know, um, in this moment, I am bringing up my three children. I am bringing up uh, a little girl. I am bringing up, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. somebody, right? You can say Excuse me, teacher. I lost the connection and I can hear what is the meaning of brought up. Uh, when you are, uh, when you have a little baby, okay, and then you are helping him to grow up in his life. That is bring a boy up. Okay, for uh, I have a, a girl who is eight you. years old. So then I can say I am bringing up an eight-year-old uh, eight girl, okay? Like create okay, to, to educate, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, good. Liz, Bring you up. read the next one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my niece came down with chicken pox this weekend. Okay, came down. Okay, she got like got sick, right? Okay. okay. Came down with chicken, chicken pox. pox. Uh, what is that? Like the, chicken pox is, is like. Uh, Varicella. Like, no, varicella, yes. Yeah, because the viruela is for the animals. Oh, that's for the animals. That's for the animals. I think it's varicella, yes. Okay. okay. So it came down is, you know, that you got sick. Okay. Mm -hmm. You fell in the <laughs> mm -hmm. we, lo we lost it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we lost her. Okay. Uh, Xiomara, read the next one, please. Okay, my sister and I get on very well together. Okay, remember we saw the expression in the other in the conversation, right? Get on, get on okay. with. Get on. Get on. Here, here is get on yeah. well. Okay, That's another one, right? So you have you have a good relationship with your sister. And Evelyn, do you play? We worked so hard these years that we had to get away for a week. You have to get away for a week. Get away. Get away. Get away. Yes. Okay. Good. Now uh, let me. Okay, I will send you this presentation as well, right? Like a link for the page. Okay, so that you can uh, review because you have to read this uh, expressions and. And sentences many times 
because this is the only way, okay? And always, every time that you read it, try to generate your own sentences, right? Because in that, okay. way, in that way, you practice better. Okay, let me see. Now we're gonna make some groups. And I want you to, and I want you to use the list of verbs that I sent you yesterday, right? In the presentation to create some sentences, right? And I will visit you in your groups, okay? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, where did you send that? Uh, are you in the WhatsApp group? Uh, uh, right now, I joined. Okay, yes, because I always send information to that group, right? The one that the uh, okay. Inglés Corporativo created. Let me just okay. uh, get into that group. And every, every yeah. after, after every class, I always send um, information that we use in this class, right? Ah, okay. okay. I don't know if you can send me again that information. Sure. Send me your, uh, when you send, uh, when you, uh, uh, when you are in the group, so I will send you to a, a private message and I will send you just the rest information. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. good. No problem. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Okay, Liz, are you there? Hello. Conversation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can carry on the conversation. Um, are there are other. Okay, there are more. Um, uh -oh. I I lost the. I lost my when my mom when my mom called it, so I'm going to
call my mom back. Okay. okay. okay very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you say about your mom, I remember when I was a child. Um, I don't know uh, many things we, we can remember when and when every everyone here was a child and grow up to ah, I'm lost. <laughs> I lost my idea. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. Uh, on, on. I stay up and I step. The step is with S. S S D T A Y. Up. U P. Stay up. Um. I stay up. Um. I have insomnia and I step up. Stay. Up. Stay. Stay. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. All night. Every. All night. Oh, all night. All night. All night. Yes. Yeah. Remember, remember, there is a difference between every night and all night, right? Because if, if I said I stayed up, you know, yesterday I couldn't sleep. Okay, I stayed up all night. It means uh, eight hours. But if I say, for example, this week has been very hard for me. I've stayed up every night. Okay, so I cannot sleep at night. So every and all night is different. All night can refer only to one night, and every night to many different nights. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. Continue practicing. Uh, I I I I have other. I have a, I have to go back because I forget my purse. I forgot. Forgot. Uh -huh. Yes, I forgot. Forgot my purse. Perfect. Yeah, I have I have another one. Yesterday okay. I asked my friend out to dinner. It's correct. Right? Yesterday I asked my friend out to dinner. Perfect. I asked. Yeah. I have my, one. My friend, my friend out. Mm -hmm. I have one. Oh, okay. The bus was full. I the, couldn't get on. Yeah. The bus was, was full. full. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get on. Perfect. I could. Teacher. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> okay. What are the sentences? Uh, mm -hmm. How are you? Difficult? <laughs> Easy? No. Uh, difficult. <laughs> Okay, say a sentence, any sentence. Okay, why don't you come along with us to the party? Perfect, okay, why don't you come along, come with me, right? Come along. Come along is a way to say, would you like to come? Okay, very good. Excellent. Come, come along, why don't you oh, accompany? Uh -huh. I'm very... I'm very busy right now, but I called you back. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Or you can say, for example, uh, yes, that's right. I'm very busy right now, but I called you back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will return it. Excellent. Okay. Keep on practicing. Good. Okay. Thank you. Because you get a diploma, you know? And, yeah. and that make that gave you uh, some, something up, you know, when you go to... To offer your the to go to a sign job, you say I I speak English, you know that helps. Ah, okay. Okay, Jose Armando, nice to meet you. Welcome the uh, the course. Okay, and thank Eduardo you. too. Okay. Eduardo. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome the course. Nice to meet you too.
Okay, good. Any questions about the two word verbs? Uh, teacher, uh, uh -huh. in the the verbs uh, and in this moment to me it's very difficult. But I I am going to the try to study more. Yeah, yeah this is the idea. Uh, so remember that the the thing is that probably you understand now the what the two word verb is, right? That's not a problem. The thing is that remember that there yeah. are many, many, the vocabulary is very extensive, right? And then and to remember the meanings and to put them into a sentence, that takes time, that takes time. But you, that's why I've been sending you all this information so that you can, you know, uh, read the sentences, see the context and practice it. That's the only way, Carlos. I mean, just uh, reading, practicing, uh, there is no other, I mean, because if you only memorize, you know, repeating, 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 I guess it, you will forget. Yeah, yeah this is but, the way. Uh, if you read the sentence and then you use it in a sentence for you, and then that is easy for you to remember, right? For example, you know, last night um, I was very, I was very busy. I have a lot of, I had a lot of things to do. So I had to stay up. I have to stay, stay up. up until very late, okay? I stay up until three o'clock a.m. working. Wow. Okay, <laughs> then I used to stay up, right? Too late. <laughs> yes, and I got up, and I got up at five, okay? I only slept two hours, okay? So then this two is- Two hours. Uh -huh. Then you, you practice- You was so busy. Yes, <laughs> very busy. Okay, uh, then if, for example, when you receive a call, to say, ah, listen, I am very busy in this moment, okay? But I called you back in one hour, okay? I called you back in mm -hmm. one hour, and then you are using the, the two word verbs, okay? Got it. Call, <laughs> called you up. Call, uh, called you called back. You back. Uh, called you back. Back, back. I uh, called you back. Called you back. Okay. This is meaning I returned the call. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly, I returned the call, correct, right? And if you say, for example, when I finish this quarantine, I will ask my wife out. Okay, I will ask my wife out to dinner. Okay, that is the first thing I will do. I will invite my wife to go out and have dinner with me. Okay, a romantic, okay. A romantic dinner. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, that's the I way it. we're gonna practice. Okay, good. Keep on practicing, okay? Good. All okay. Right. Okay. Out, but it's like a brout. Brout. No, brin is brout. Brout me up. Brought. Brought me. Uh -huh. Brought. Uh -huh. But what is different, teacher, to bring? Bring. To bring. What is the, the, the meaning of the. the which one is? Bring. Bring up. up, bring someone up. Bring up, uh -huh. raise children. Raise, raise a child or raise children. Yeah. Okay, that is bring up. Can children. you explain what is the the pronunciation? No, no. What is the meaning? I don't understand what is exactly you mean. You don't get it. Okay. What do you do with your children? I don't have. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, <laughs> that's why. That's why. <laughs> okay. okay. But, 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 but example. It's me, it's, me. Okay. It's my bad. My bad. Okay. Good. When you have children, <laughs> when you have children, what do you have to do? Ah, uh, like a, maybe it's the same to the to the carry the baby. This. Uh -huh, but like you know, like you have to raise them, right? You have to raise them. Right. Uh, okay. You give them food, clothes, education, uh, doctors, medicine, uh, mm -hmm. toys. So you give them everything to raise them up, okay? And then that is uh, bring a bring up. up. Okay. 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 Who brought you up? Who brought mm, you up? Okay. Your father. Your mother or your grandparents? Uh, Who gave you parents? Uh, your parents, okay? You parents. Uh, yeah. Your parents brought you up, okay? They gave you food, money, uh, studies, and everything, right? 
Yeah, and, and, brings, and brings you up, what is the? And which one? It's different. Which one? Oh. Brings some someone up. <laughs> ah, a person. Right, yeah. children? Mm -hmm. It's different. No, no, uh, someone is a person, okay? It's because mm -hmm. the, the meaning is like when you have to criar somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, then, yeah. but it's only for children. You know Marcela. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. That's what happened, right? So they say, for example, I am bringing up three children. I am bringing mm -hmm. up four children. I am bringing up mm -hmm. one child, okay? Mm -hmm. I am bringing up my niece, okay? Mm -hmm. Because my sister can't, okay? Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay, I'll you're welcome. I'll <laughs> take it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you girls. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, so that was, you know, uh, how was the experience using the phrasal verbs? <laughs> was very hard. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, right. Yeah, yeah. But as I told you, right, this is the. It was very funny. It's funny, but uh, then we have to because you have to practice it a lot. You know, this is the the only way. Uh, only yeah. the ones. Uh, it's like, for example, why it, when somebody says, "How are you?" What do you say? Great, fine. fine. Okay, Out, automatically, automatically, right? Yeah. You automatically say, what's your name, Luis? Okay, how old are you? Uh, 25, 53, okay? Because you have repeated those expressions many times, okay? Like for example, uh -huh. if I say, stand up, so everybody stands up, right? Stand up. Sit down, mm -hmm. because we listen to those verbs very common, uh, very frequently, mm -hmm. right? Mm, uh, if yeah. you say, for example, uh, uh, but if I say, for example, uh, stay up tonight, stay mm -hmm. up, okay, this is not very common, okay, mm -hmm. stay up is don't mm -hmm. sleep tonight, okay, mm -hmm. uh, if you say, for oh. example, ask, uh, ask her out, ask her, mm -hmm. out. okay, if you say, ask her out, would you please go out, please, no, actually. it's mm -hmm. an expression that means invite, so you see, it's repetition and using this uh, vocabulary in sense. Okay, then uh, okay. tomorrow okay. we will continue with other expressions using always two word verbs. So keep on practicing. Choose a two or three verbs, new verbs, okay, new verbs new. every day, okay, maximum five, okay. Mm -hmm. Choose five verbs. I, I think the practice was very hard. Sorry, sorry, teacher. I, I think the, the, the practice was so hard for us, for my group, because uh, I was saying to, to them, then we, we, you are talking, when you talking with somebody, you need to context, what are you talking? So we need to practice with, with, with these exercises, mm -hmm. talking to, to other people. Exactly. And putting That's context or ideas. Exactly, correct. That's why you know to be exposed to. Okay, that's mm. why, you know, you yeah, have, yeah. if you see the video, if you see the video that I was showing you today, there is a guy that has a context. The context is his office and his mm, work, yeah. and his work, right? So he is using the, the two word verbs according to that context, right? And then you yeah. will see like a, how this, uh, how this, his work affected his personal life. And he is mm. also using is also using the two word verbs in that sense, in that context. Yes, okay, the context is important, right? And you can practice also with sent. that's what I, I was telling you. Practice with sentences according to your life, right? Because then in that way, it's easy for mm. you to remember. You see the verb, and then you see, okay, how can I apply this, uh, for example, this verb in my personal life? How can mm. I say, choose five verbs like that every day, and then you say, okay, how can I use this in my life in this moment? 
okay? Suppose that okay. in this moment you are helping, you are helping, you, you don't have children, but you are helping your, your sister, okay? Or your hijado, right? Your godson, okay? You can say, for example, eh, I am bringing up my grand, I say, I am bringing up my grandson. Mm -hmm. Okay, or I am bringing my grandson up because uh, you say that because his parents can't. In that moment, you can use it, right, if you are in that situation. And then you will mm -hmm. be able to remember that verb. And that is another word. Five verbs, you know, like 10, 15 verbs that you learn in one month, in, mm -hmm. in a year, is more than 150 verbs. And that is a lot of vocabulary. Okay, that is a lot of vocabulary. So, but slowly, right? Step by step. All right? Okay. Any All other right. question? Okay. No more? Okay. Yeah. okay. No, it's uh, clear. Thank you. Thank you very much, then. Uh, uh, well, have a good rest of the day. Okay. Go, go straight to your to the living room. Okay. Now, <laughs> there, is, there is no other way, right? Oh, go, go, go to your bed or... Do something else, right? Change, change place. <laughs> okay, good. So okay. see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a last question. Uh huh. When you when you say uh, just you stay in my, in my mind, fool around is just for for kids. Just for. Just for kids. No, no. It depends on types of so teenagers. Play, playful, playful, playful. The meaning is weton, right? Yes, yes. Or also sometimes, you know, uh, you know, grown ups, people, you know, I am a playful guy sometimes, you know, with my, with my children. So I like to play with them. Okay. And sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't. On Sundays, for example, if I don't have anything to do. I just like to go out and pull around, you know, just to waste my time. Okay, if I don't have anything else to do. It's not only for children. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The only thing that sometimes you also use hang out. Hang out. Hang out yeah. is also when you go out with your friends, you know, and have fun. Vacilando. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly, right. And then in full around is like tonteando, right? Doing nothing, basically. You know, nothing, nothing of benefit. Pull around. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Anytime. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night. Take care.